Hello, thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast. This is episode 140. I am Grant Fierro here with Mike Medina. How are you, Mike? Great, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you for asking. You're welcome. So, first of all, just want to uh, set things straight. Um, we posted the other day on the Skate Filet Instagram account saying that Siba Walker would be joining us this week, and we asked if any of you guys had questions or anything you want us to talk to Sibo about. And some some stuff came up with Sibo. He rescheduled, so he'll be on in a few weeks. But I just wanted to let you guys know so no one's – everyone understands what's going on, that he didn't bail or anything, just a scheduling issue, and he'll be back. He'll join he's us got, in a few weeks. He's got beef with Grant. <laughs> oh, is that it? Yeah. Bummer. Grant. Grant says that he hates. Uh, he says he hates uh, Smith grind three shows. Oh no, those are sick. Um, yeah, that's insane. So yeah, so we'll get to those questions that you guys had for Sibo whenever he's able to join us in the coming weeks. But speaking of Sibo Walker, he is one of the main news topics this week. He announced his departure from Lakai, which I think surprised a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, we hadn't Never. heard we hadn't heard any rumors. Um, he's ba- he's been on Lakai for a long time. Mm-hmm. He's, when I think of Lakai, he at the moment with the current team, he was one of the first people that came to mind. He had a great part in the flare. Uh, you know, he's always throwing up the flare, Lakai guy. So, um, yeah, he announced his departure via Instagram. And when you saw that, Mike, what were your thoughts? I was definitely surprised. It seemed like. Um... He was, like, one of the guys that was, like, really getting behind the brand to try to, like, move them forward. Yeah. And, I mean, it definitely was unexpected for sure. I was not – I mean, they gave him a – um. well, no, they did a collab with Crooked, actually. I take that back, right? Yeah, but it was his color one. Okay. It was so for cool. him. He was the candidate. That's what I thought, the yellow ones, right? Yeah, they did black with the yellow eyes, and then they did a yellow one with uh, the eyes were white or something. Yeah, I remember those. Those, were, those yeah. were really cool. Yeah, but um, as far as him leaving, like, dude, I don't think anyone was expecting that if you weren't close to Sibo. Yeah, I would agree. It's pretty surprising. I was surprised just as you were. And all uh, my friends I've talked to about it didn't see it coming either. Did you see his uh, <laughs> two up? Yeah, I watched his two. Did you notice what kind of pants he had on? Uh, Kappa. Oh, I thought those were Adidas pants. No. Oh, okay. It's like this other, it's like this random sportswear brand. I was actually, I didn't see him get a Trick Fours two up, but I was inside the barracks. It was the day Trevor Colden joined us on Skate Filet. We met up at the barracks in Cebo. It's the day he did the blunt tray flip, <clears throat> the switch manual on the quarter pipe. Uh-huh. Uh, is when he was trying that. And, wow. Yeah. But that the reason I bring that up is because I I seen the pants then. And then well, uh, well, I'll just go ahead. It made me think that like I feel like he'd be a really cool fit on Adidas, dude. I feel like I say that like jokingly, like trolling, every time somebody like leaves a shoe sponsor or whatever. Yeah. But, like, in this case, it like genuinely seems like a really good fit. In my it opinion. does seem like a good fit. I would agree with you. And um, there's actually a little bit of evidence flying around the internet as there's a screenshot via. Chris Mulhern, one of the Adidas, main Adidas filmers, on his story of Sibo skating a curb, and his shoes look to have three stripes on them. I don't recognize the model in it. So I think they're superstars. Blurry. That's what I thought, but then I, I've never seen all green superstars like those. I don't know. They're like, I don't know. It doesn't mean that they're Regardless. skate superstars. No, I know. It's, it's true. Yeah. It could be superstars. Yeah. Um, and then, and the non superstars, though. Something the, was uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the non super skate superstars come in fucking every colorway yeah, possible. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. But it was like this this shade of green. I even Googled it. It was like green superstars. I didn't see the same ones. But I mean, it could be a sample. It could be a different shoe. I don't know. But it looked like Siva Walker was wearing Adidas in that. And actually, that had been sent to me. I didn't uh, see it on Instagram myself when it was up on a uh, Chris Paul story. To you. Um, we'll get we'll give him a little shout out. Also, I also seen it on Slap, but the first time I saw it, Grant, you love Slap these days, huh? You're in your little Slap phase, dude. I mean, hey, hey, I, it, we've all been it, there. Is we've it not? Is there. it not interesting to you? It's humorous for sure. It's, I find it very interesting. Sometimes, a lot of the times, it's just like random hating on everything yeah i don't need that but sometimes it's it's cool to see point like different points of view or um, yeah what how many thinks how many on. warehouse workers can post to rumors 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was one of that was one of my favorite slap jokes. <laughs> um I believe the first person I, I think maybe two people sent it to me, but uh his Instagram is Baytux. He's hit me up about stuff for Skate Filet for a while now. Long I love so thank you. do that. Thank you for doing that. It's nice of you. Yeah, um it makes our job a lot easier. It helps us out. <laughs> we appreciate it. I mean, I don't want it to sound like we're lazy, but yeah, thank you. Um, we're so tired sometimes. Maybe he's going to Adidas. We'll I'd see hope in the so. coming weeks. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit of evidence. I agree, it'd be a cool fit. I think he, you know, the whole like soccer, like you know, wear, wear the track pants type thing. I could see him skating in some Adidas jerseys. You and know? just like it his just style, his style, it just makes sense. Yeah, just his style of skating seems to fit with what they got going. I can see him on a nice little three stripes trip with Miles Silvis. You know, their boys. I agree. I agree. You know, so we'll see. Yeah, hopefully we'll we get the, to talk to. Weeks. Hope yeah, I was gonna say hopefully we get to talk to uh, talk to him about it a little bit. Well, yeah. Another thing is, I think when when a, a skateboarder chooses to leave a shoe brand when they quit, a lot of the times. I would say that well, I guess most times when people quit a brand in general, maybe they have something else lined up. And with shoes, you can't really hide what shoes you're skating. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, if they quit, they probably have something lined up, and the announcement's probably going to come pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Although with Felipe, I mean, he didn't quit DC, but it was he was skating Adidas for a while, and we figured he would get put on, and then they announced it. So it could be something like that. But yeah, I'm but sure. with the dude like Felipe who skates street league and is a Red Bull athlete and all this other things. Like, I feel like his contract may be a little bit more complicated than a guy like Sibo. Yeah, it's possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, no, that makes like sense. when plan B and Red Bull get involved with things like things change. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, one thing I saw actually put back to slap well, that that I thought was. See, you cool. fucking love slap now. I didn't deny it. It's yeah, Grant, I enjoy looking through Grant, it. Grant, slap what? veteran, dude. I'm not. Oh no, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying I'm OG. Yeah, you you're probably OG. way longer than me. No, I, I oh, barely, I barely started going on it recently. More. You're. And I'm not trying to say it's like a slap. credible source. No, no, but listen to this. It was someone. I think someone said some little negative about Sibo leaving Lakai. And then someone else is like, he used to live in a van. Let him get that money. <laughs> no shit. I was like, I was like, that's sick. Dude, I was literally just going to bring up the fucking van, like, right after you said that. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Dude, um, Adidas money from living in a van next to a skate park. Like, dude, do that. Do the math there, man. Yeah. So, like, yeah, Adidas we'll money. We'll on a couple weeks, and we'll get to talk to him about uh, yeah, everything man. he's got going on. You know, video yeah. projects. Two up came out. He dropped two parts last year. Got the Skate Rats video coming up at some point. Yeah, and his footage is always so fucking enjoyable. Always. Always. always I've never is. watched Sebo footage and thought that was some slouch shit. I, I was always like, got those Nolly Big Spin back nose blunts, and you could probably I also really, I also really like his Big Spin flips. He has really, really sick big flips. Yeah, That's he has cool really one. cool ones, dude. Like they, he just, like, hovers above his board. It's just, like, the way that he does yeah, it dude, is it sick. Crazy. Yeah, the way he does it is, like, extremely comfortable. I also don't know how three shoves the way it's just like that's like his. You could tell like the three shove is his shit. Like that's his shit. Yeah, I mean if you could three shove in and out of a Smith, that's <laughs> you got nasty. it. Dude, you got it. His board is he, his, <laughs> Buck nasty. Dude, his trucks are so fucking loose, man. Yeah, he's got the loose goose. Mm -hmm. No. Well, speaking of Adidas, one of uh, you know Gary Rogers' favorite skateboarder, Mark Succi. Oh, man. I think he's a lot of people's favorite skateboarder. Yes, yes. Um, the Suchu ADB2 updated version of his first shoe is out for Adidas. They now. look sick. And not only is it out, we also got a chunk of Suchu footage. Banger footage. Some really nice footage. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was sick. Dude, it's so enjoyable. It was so like, sick. There's, there's nothing in there that's not just like, damn, that was so tight. I just I, the spot selection of mm -hmm. the tricks. I like uh, the way he does the back tail th front three shove so much. He, like, yeah. I, I feel like like when I think of that trick now, I think of him. Like he's the way a, he does it is so sick. He's got a mix of you know cool lines with some ledges and spots, whatever random type of spots, and then yeah. he does that one line with a really cool front side flip down a set. A like front feebles a weird flat bar type thing to pop out of. He also back feebles a, a rail with a kink. 
Oh yeah, that's right that's there. That's so at, uh, fucking hard, dude. In front of the ferry building. You ever feeble the? You ever feeble the rail with a kink? I don't think so. Me neither. That sounds like it seems hard. Yeah, and that rail's quick, and the kinks. Yeah, quick. like it just looks sketchy. And there's like it's like one of those where it's like a couple rails. Like I feel like you could hang up real easy on that. But he had yeah, them. yeah, yeah. I also um, I, the spot choice was like my number one thing in there. Yeah, that really did stand out to me more than it does Agreed. in most video parts. Agreed. And then the backsmith. I really like how that was the ender personally because it's a mellow spot. It's not like the most insane buck thing, but he made it look so cool. Like the way he got into that backsmith and nothing moved. He just stood mm -hmm. there. He literally backsmith. I mean, dude, there. to get your actual name on an original shoe with Adidas, you, you got to be the shit. You're doing something right. You're doing something right, man. But I not must to mention say, it's his I must second say, my, I must say. There's one thing I I wish was done a, just one thing differently with the video part. What? That why I do not understand why that slappy front nose to fakey back five oh front half cab. Oh my god! Tornado. Gosh. Yeah. Was in the credits. Why? Isn't that weird? Why? Isn't that weird? I, I watched this part. I was like, I, I wanted love, that to I, be I, the first I trick. Part. I was like, this video part was amazing. Yeah. I went on Instagram. I see Suchu post a uh, clip from my part. I'm like. Where was that in the yeah. part? I didn't see that. So I went back and watched it. I was like, oh, it's in the credits. Why'd they put yeah. in the credits? You got to watch the credits, dude. It's oh, you know, I'm down to watch the credits. Okay, maybe, you know, that that's on me. But why is that not in the actual before the ender? Yo, I think that should have been the first trick. That would be a sick opener. Yeah, like, dude, you're telling me you're no not going to watch has the done rest that. of the part. You're, you're telling me he's going to do an MBD and we're going to put it in the credits? Yeah, My and you're telling me. <laughs> away from you. You don't want to what the fuck? It over here. I didn't realize it, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is hilarious. Right when I did it, I was like, oh, good, gonna be pissed. <laughs> Uh yeah, but that's my only complaint. Other than that, I, I love the video. It was done great. It really was. Oh, that's really funny. Those <laughs> dude, that color, whatever that is, that blue gray color is yeah, fucking is rad cool. in person. Have you seen his shoes in person? I haven't. No, dude, oh, dude they look like like sick. Like I'm actually wearing his first shoe right now. Oh well, let's see it, man. And they're they're a lot like it, but you can like literally see where they're slimmed down. That's cool. Yeah, like you like can that. you can I'll see, take, take and what's funny too is like here. Actually, I'll just I'll show you what I'm take, referring to. Take, <laughs> yeah, I'll just take it off. But there, uh, on the back of the original one, there, this was actually a pull tongue with the little loopy thing, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, the first fucking day I got it, I was like, that's horrible. I'm cutting this off. And the second one has it cut off already. You don't like pull tabs? No, hell no. <laughs> No, no, I love no. how I love how sometimes you're so passionate like against things that to other people probably wouldn't be a thing to. But my gates so. <laughs> like cu cups all hell no. The suits are cups all. Yeah, these ones are cup, but they're like um, <laughs> no, they're the they're the um they're like that hybrid cup where it's like that super thin or the super thick insole that's okay. in uh, the superstars. So oh, it's I know like, what you're talking about. Yeah, so it's like it doesn't you don't feel like the cuppy. Ness. Okay. If, like if you're a skateboarder, you know you know the cuppiness. You know what I mean? Okay. You know what I'm fucking talking about. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I, you know, to me, I really like the detail of that that gold logo they got on the tongue for him. Oh, it's so sick. His that logo's tight. Sick. Yeah. They killed it with that. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm. I kind of want to get those other ones, but now I don't really want to. Why not? Because they're like expensive right now, dude. They're yeah, gonna. Yeah, I'll let them show. Yeah. Plus, I really want to try. If I want to like get something that I want to spend money on, those those like city cups or whatever look fucking rad. Oh, those look interesting. Is that what they're called, city cup? Yeah, yeah, city cup. Those look fucking rad. Even if I wouldn't skate them, they just which ones did you sick. get? Which colorway? I like the uh, the ones that Miles had on. Yeah, it's like more like an off white than white. Yeah, it's like a little interesting. It's a little different. Yeah, it's dope. I think parts we of it are white, but then parts of it are kind of like have that gray clearish. No, we have them at Fargo, oh, and man. they're fucking red. Cool. Yeah, my homie ha put on the – my homie has the black ones with the white and red stripe, and those oh, look Miles so colorway. sick. Yeah, those look so sick, dude. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Speaking of colorway then shoes, uh, congrats to Kevin Bradley. Two colorways for Nike SB. Congrats um, to Kevin Bradley. Yeah, that's sick, dude. That's a big yeah. deal. 
Yeah, yeah. that is a big deal. Have some input on a Nike deal. shoe? That's crazy. Yeah, that's um, historical. That's for sure. It really is. You Actually, like the today, shoes? You feeling them? I think that the high top dunks look really sick. Hey, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Grant wears Nikes now, so we can ask him. Uh, hey, I'm trying out some blazers right now. We'll we can ask good. him. We can ask him if he would wear the swoosh now and he'd uh, see us. I, no question. I don't think I would wear high top dunks just because this isn't similar shoe I'd wear. What but if, I think those high top white dunks, like I could, I look at that shoe. My head's a sick shoe. People look sick in it, but I wouldn't wear it. What if Scuba hit you up and said, "Dude, I love skate fillet, man. I'll give you a bunch of dunks. You want them?" Uh, uh, yeah, I'd probably try some Dunk Lows, maybe. But maybe those are shot ones. They'd you be thin. I can't dunk skate lows? thick. No, I haven't. Me neither. They look like fucking... They look like clunkers. That's why I need those shot ones, where it's all thin. Dude, those are at Ross for like 30 bucks, dude. Go peep your Ross, man. Or have you seen those, the, uh, they called it the Decon, the Deconstructed Pack? Yeah, those are all oh, thin. Those, those look sick. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll try those. Those look I don't know. super I thin. Blazers right now. Blazers are nice. I like that thin shit. Uh, I just got some Adidas, the Matchcore RX, I believe. Yeah, yeah the toe without, capless. Without the toe cap? Oh, my God. They look so sick in person, dude. Look, I'm going to try some toe caps. Toe cap it up. Look at this toe capper, dude. Who is Grant? Well, I got to try him out. Who is this guy, dude? He swooshed up. Hey, don't get me wrong. I still love the way Converse skate forever. Cons and Nike. Those are good shoes. Um, but, yeah, come back to what I was saying. Congrats to Kevin Bradley. He posted this photo today. I believe it's part of the campaign for a shoe. It's just crazy looking kick for it. But Tiba killed it with the photo. Look at those oh, colors. Oh, that photo is insane. Dude, look at that flick. The dreads flying around. The colors. Is that that? Sick. That's that spot too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know what it's from. Probably in LA somewhere, but it is. It's uh, for sure gonna be a cat. Yeah, it's KB. It's, it's gonna be in LA. Right. It's got the palm tree on the on the back of the shoe. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, like we said, like he's got the white dunk highs, and then he's got the Air Force Twos, and they uh, it's similar to what Lance Mountain did. It wears off to I think either a red or a blue underneath. Oh, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Yeah, that's yeah cool. I didn't know that. I think that's right. I backed that. Yeah, and you know, let's just keep the footwear going. Okay, Stevie Williams. Ooh, this one's interesting. He posted a photo holding some DCs. Said he was uh, who was he saying he was talking to Damon Way about yes. he said about the past and about some stuff in the future, which obviously hints at doing something again with DC. Mm -hmm. We Stevie's last shoe sponsor was Super, who was with for a while. I think since then, mainly I feel like I've seen him in Adidas Boosnitz. Um Yeah, he's been rocking stripes like ever since for a while. Yeah, he he posted this photo and said, "Ain't hard to tell what's bubbling." Met up with Damon Way to discuss the past and the future with these old, crazy-looking DCs. Those are the links, man. Look at that colorway. Yeah, that's like a very iconic shoe for people my age. Yeah, it is. I mean, I've seen the the new links. I never looked at the old ones. That is, or is that his shoe? Was that links? I don't know. Is, are these the links? I, I, mean, know, I, I can't I don't remember, know. dude. They're also but they're huge. I think that was just his pro model to be actually. Let me let me just fix that. Yeah, that's those okay. were the Stevies. That's okay. I was um, never, I was an S guy. Oh, you see, well, what'd you skate? Some Excel? S's. No, I liked uh, the more sporty ones, like the Costin twos, like were so. Oh, they have sick. a runner toe on them. They had a runner toe. Were they those had those ones that had the white with the red colorway? Uh yes, they had a run. They had a pull tongue, and I cut it off first day. Oh my god! Not kidding. <laughs> you think I'm playing? <laughs> <really>? <laughs> That was funny. You know the I actually have is a, a S, um, a Tiba fifteen years of S photo book. Is uh, photos of all these different writers from S over the years. It's super cool. I've I looked yeah, recently. I also really liked uh, Ronnie Krieger's shoe from S. Oh, that's sick. I like that how Ronnie skating in S is these days. That's sad. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense for sure. It does for sure. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? What others do I like from there? Oh, Costin ones. I had like six different colorways of that fucking shoe. <laughs> Now I think I think back on it, dude. That thing is a total plunker. I mean, weren't they all at that point? No, the runners weren't, dude. They were slim. They, they look. They still look pretty big, though. They were big, but in comparison to those other clunkers, yeah, no okay. way. And they were made of more like breathable material, so they were much lighter. So you never that. skated Excel OGs? Oh, I skated Excel OGs for sure. The all blacks, and Ooh. I got them strictly because of Tom Penny. 
Oh, Tom Penny did it for you. Yeah. And oh, I, I remember when Tom Penny got a shoe. Those were pretty sick. They were basically Excels. Oh, really? Yeah. And then Ardo got a shoe too, right? Uh, or was his in Etney's shoe? I don't remember. I know he went to Etney's for a while. Yeah, I know, I know he was on Etney's. But I don't know where his shoe was at, to be honest with you. wonder why he went to Etney's. I don't know. Maybe budget with Insulto. Hmm. That's maybe just a they, guess. I have no Maybe idea. they did it to try to bring Etnies out of the rut. Yeah, of, to push. I mean, because S was huge at the time, right? Huge, yeah. And especially like Etnies. Etnies is so like revolved around Ramp Tramp shoes, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that term in so long. You said I'm it. Just I was like, what? I was like, I'm oh. just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're going to have a sick I mean, full length. Wow, dude. I'm sure the full length will be crazy. Yeah, it's going to have Berger in it, dude. And it's kind of Chris Johnson. I'm just talking shit, dude. Yeah, we know what you like to do. Yo, but uh, Berger, Sugar Cane Hollywood popped up on my timeline earlier, dude. Ooh. Holy fuck. Hey, we just, like, of, speaking of Buck Nasty. Right? Like, just give a moment <laughs> to remember that, dude. Jesus, please. Imagine trying that trick, Grant. I'd rather not think like, about it. Like, get the fuck really out of here. Not. Like, dude, because... even on a flat bar, like, are you shitting me? I can't imagine it's someone doing it on a flop bar. That's just. I could see someone doing it on a uh, bank trail. Dude, a I just like the, like the, the, bar, the precision bump, so. is next level <laughs> shit, dude. Like, oh, it is. If you're not 100% precise, you're getting smoked. Yeah, I mean, Backwards. you're going to back lip, and, but where you almost get a truck on, and then next thing you know, your wheel goes under the dude. rail. And then you're getting pissed. The, fe- the feeble slides? I don't want those. Oh, those are scary, man. You really, you really don't want those. If yeah, that's minute, terrifying. Mike, you know Tanner Van Vark? Oh, my God, dude. I've been a fan. That's the dude I've talked about on the show so many times. He's what? that dude that I saw at Skate Copa a few years ago. Dude. Check this out. I saw Check this it. out. I saw it, dude. Let the viewers see it. Let dude, me tell you. I talked to – Look uh, at that. Dude, Look I know. Look at that. No one's doing that. What? Dude, dude he is the man. What? You know, we're putting on Skate for Instagram later. That's Bro, but you gotta you gotta see him get in person, Grant. It's that's just that's up. ridiculous. That's uh, um what's his face is homie. I don't know. Um God damn Jack? Jack, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, because I think Tanner's from out there at third layer. Yeah, you know what's sick too? Is he left all black box plugs to now he's all deluxe plug. Oh, Tanner used to get zero boards or and mystery? fallen and uh I believe it was zero and fallen. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I wasn't aware of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you see this crazy slappy switch slappy front nose to crook? Ooh, again? yes, uh, dude. I'm telling what? you, this dude is the shit, man. He's like, crazy. get ready, get ready He's for crazy. this. Crazy, yeah. I'm waiting for that next part. I'm gonna go crazy yeah. in the drops. Yo, uh, get ready for this, dude. I've been stoked on him. So, like, the fact that he's blowing up makes sense to me. Good. Okay. Yeah. He's lit. Let's talk about a video part that we're both stoked on. What about that Supra fucking shit, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. We should have went straight. We, you know what? That would have been a really clean transition. We just went straight from Stevie right into that, but we fucked up. Well, let's hear it because we, we chat about Super real Bro. quick before the show, and your stoke was heavy oh, on your boy Spencer. Spencer. Man, get the fuck Bro. out of here, dude. Bro. <laughs> Dude, Spencer is the shit, man. MVP, yeah, Supra MVP. I'm not saying I disagree, but tell me what. Oh, dude, clean, consistent lines of extremely hard fucking tricks, man. Done like five tricks in a line. Consistent. You know what's crazy? He also gets another fucking backside uh, no comply three where he put, he lifts off of a little step thing. Yeah, how does he do that? I don't know how he does that, dude. Like no I'm good at that, that trick. I like backside no three, like no complex. Yeah, three. but, but Spencer usually does his ones where he dude. Ollies and then he done it over a fucking table. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Spencer's the man. And it's it's it like okay. Let me back up. I'm just wondering, where is this dude's board? All time he's been where he's been literally riding all timers boards since they fucking came out. Like since he left Expedition, all timers boards. Like, just do it. Let's go. Pull the trigger, man. Just do it. Let's go. I mean, it's not. Fucking way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Canada needs you. Canada needs what? Spencer? Yeah. I think everyone needs some Spencer. Dude, All Timers is a rad brand. For them to have Spencer on 100% is even more rad. Yeah. 
Speaking of Alzheimer's, dude, I don't know if this was a troll move or if it's just them being goofy, but they fucking made a, um, a fly swatter available on their website. <laughs> And like knowing like them, friends make some random stuff yeah. There. Well, and like knowing them and like seeing their graphics, dude, that that might just be like a complete supreme troll, dude. Or like the like the box logo brick. Yeah, like they make supreming <laughs> some shit where you're like, what the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> you see my Baker post yesterday? They made a uh, one of those. What do you call that? Like one of, you put up in your car, your sunshade. The sunshade. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? They made them. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Dude, I still think my favorite one right now or uh, within the last, like, year or so is definitely the Quail Tap Foam Roller. Yeah, I thought the yeah. ad was funny. Dude, but... that is one of the funniest things I've ever heard of in my fucking life. Hey, foam rollers are a go. I, really are you kidding me? Yeah, I foam roll. got one, you need to get one. Dude, my foam roller is right there. I'm looking at it. It's asking me to roll out right hey, now. Hey, you have one of these? Uh, one of these? Uh, one second. It's literally right. One of these sticks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are great. These things are great. Yeah, especially for your, like, thighs, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and your hamstrings. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you're out skating all day, you should go grab Yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 don't know why, like, I don't know why I'm promoting some random product. Doesn't hey, what's the name of that brand? We should hit them up, dude. We like you. Yeah, we could, yeah. We got to get some sponsors, man. <laughs> some foam roll sponsors. That would be rad, dude. <laughs> for the show. Give away That's a foam roll. Rad. Give away foam rollers. Hey, our Instagram is almost at 500. I'm pretty happy about that. That's good. You've been putting up some nice content on there. Thanks, but, man. I've been trying, back, man. Back to what I was trying to get at with this video part we really like. Which one? Flo, welcome to Habitat. <laughs> it is official. I thought he was already on. But I guess yeah, you, you, you were like, whoa, he's already on, dude. Yeah, my text was like, I thought he's been on. He's like, no, no, no. It says welcome in the title. I was like, oh, all right, my bad. Yeah, and then it's like I the got most like class, and I watched that part, and I was like, "Woo!" How's yeah, he, he went off. Oh. Yo, How's fakey he him into a fakey five zero, and then fakey that's like, out. dude, that's what? like straight up dream trick what? for me. Fakey heel switch front crook. That's fucked, bro. And that switch heel all boned oh, out. Oh yeah, that switch heel was amazing. I don't know. I thought the whole thing was really enjoyable. But he also does fakey five zero, fakey flip out around a sea ledge. Because he's sick. Like what? And he balances it the whole time. No scrapes. No whack. No whack. That's a grind. Yeah. You can whack it. You uh, can whack a grind. Not on. Not on that grind. I don't think. Oh, well, that like, depends. Actually, because I've seen Tyler I mean, you do it. Can, where he, but the balance ones look sick. Way better. That's like saying like you. You can if you got enough wax on that ledge and you can nose grind with your nose scraping. I mean, it's not illegal, but. <laughs> If it works, it works, I guess. But the you know the balance always looks tight. Yeah. Hey, shout yeah, out yeah. Chris Roberts. And those going out the court out shootout. I know they talk about it all the time in the nightclub, but that clip is incredible. It really is. And that thing is all chunky. All chunky. Here we go, Mike. Former Austin Gillette's clothing brand. What uh, was they that? Did a, you haven't heard of that? Oh, former. I thought you were yeah. saying like his former brand. Oh, no. Uh, they released a video with Jake Anderson. So he just went pro, what, like three weeks ago? Oh, yeah. I saw some comments. I was like, more footage. Yeah. I saw some comments. I was like, my bad, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was just going to say the slam was gnarly on that kickflip. Oh, yeah, footage. yeah. Oh, no, I saw some comment that was like, Jake Anderson's fucking up my timeline lately, dude. I was like, that's <laughs> yeah, so sick. That's, what's up. that's, yeah, that's sick. Sad that Jake's having to put in that work. I also yeah, thought it was, for sure. Yeah, Jake's got a real cool trick selection style. To me, it's I'm still stuck on that uh, crazy like fifty shove it type thing. Done that. It's like a bump over bar. You don't grind it, <laughs> but mm -hmm. it, like axles. Dude, it. That was I like the way that those the back fifty shove it out like the uh, like the opposite side. Yeah, that's a crazy trick. Like pop over. So, dude, people are good at that trick now. Yeah, well, Jing, the one Jing Foy did down the rail. Is, that's like the one yeah, I think so. of. Yeah, yeah I mean, I if, if I see that on a flat bar, I'd be like, whoa, that was insane. Yeah, I don't even like so, back 50s on flat bars, man. It's just, it would be scary for sure. Yeah, I'm not a fan, for dude. Sure. I, don't, I don't know what it is, man. It makes me tippy toe. Sure. Uh, I really like people grind the rail. But, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, people yeah, grind front shove, dude. Uh, yeah, I've done that, but I don't do it. Dude, you can pop it. You can get the front shove to pop, and it looks bad. What about you ever done a backside field grind and a regular pop shove it out? 
Uh, no, I don't think I've ever you tried. Should try that one. That one's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's yeah, pretty we'll cool. try that. I'm gonna go skate right after this, and maybe I'll try that. All right. Well, you know, post it. Hey, I'm um, going to California in April. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. I don't know if all the viewers. Sick. But my my mic's gonna come out here. So you know, we'll film. We'll actually meet each other. Yeah. You know, <laughs> as long as as long as you're not catfish or somewhere, um, dude. We'll skate together. First That'd be time. like the most epic catfish of all time if I were doing a visual a visual sh- podcast and just, that actually wasn't me. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> wild, man. You yeah, fucking you know, wild. I'm excited for that though. We'll skate together. Are you, you're not 21 yet, are you? I am not. That's crazy. I'm How old 19. are you? 19. You have a teen in your age still. That's wild. When's 19. your birthday? July 28th. Oh, you're kind of turning 20 this year, boy. 1998. Yeah, I'll be 20. What, what, what changes between 19 and 20? I don't think anything. Uh, not a whole lot. 21 is pretty cool. Yeah, that's a little different. Um, Damn, 98, huh? Yeah. Dude, MJ had already won his sixth championship by then. What? Mark Johnson? Sorry. Yeah. Um, Mark let's, Johnson, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> Mike, let's talk about something. A couple weeks ago, the Barracks posted about having a battle at the Barracks flat bar. Oh, please he's going to win, duh. And I thought that was interesting. Yeah, I mean, they didn't say for sure they're going to do it, but please he's going to win, duh. You know, it was one of those posts, you know, comment who's going to win whatever and talk about it. But I thought it'd be cool for us to discuss. I mean, obviously you you've already blurted three times. You think Palouse is going to win. We get that. <laughs> yeah, like but, for uh, sure. Dude. I feel like no one's even going to fuck with it. But is is first of all, would if they were going to do something other than flat ground, is flat bar the first thing you would like to see or what else would you like to see? Definitely flat bar. I think flat bar would be the same. Or leg. It'll, it'll, I think flat bar allows for the most creativity, and if it does well, then you can move it on to ledges. Yeah, flat bar or ledge I think would be sick. I think flat bar Stare is more visually cool, appealing. But like, nah. Nah. I'd rather see something else. What is What does that mean, a game of skate downstairs, though? Like, you're good at hucking it. Like, Chris Jocelyn going to win. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I think flat Paul bar Hart, ledge, he's going he's gonna to do well. Be able to try the trick, even if they're uncomfortable with What's that one fucker that did the kickflip shifty? Yuri Facini. Oh my! God. <laughs> what? <He's so laughs> that guy's a fucking astronaut. Yeah. yeah okay. So shit. let's say that, let's say they do about the barracks on the flat bar. Michael um, Paluzzi. Other than Michael Paluzzi, I mean, you could say his name again if you want. Dude, he's gonna. Uh, if, if, if they do it, he's gonna, gonna, he's gonna go in. Yeah. He's gonna win, dude. He'll go against. Okay, let me think. I think Tori Pud will have a good kick. Oh, duh. Yeah, he'll go against T Puds in the end, but Palusio Floyd has some stuff. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, Damn, dude. Leave in the comments who you want to see in that because I want to read I'm that. I'm trying shit. to think of some more right now, real quick. What? You know? Flat bar guys? Trevor Colden, dude. One foot front feet. Trevor got the flat bars for show. Uh, you got to think of tricks that people can't hey, do. Hey, Carlos. Carlos Ribeiro has to be. Oh, jeez Louise. He'll probably back when he knows grind the whole thing. He'll just be like. Oh, oh. no. Yeah, dude. Well, hey, okay. 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 Now that we're on that, now that you brought that up, would would distance on the rail count as a make or a miss? I would say the best way to do it is either if, if someone grinds, the, if someone does a trick on the entire flat bar, you have to do the entire flat bar. But let's say they do half. Do you of call it? it? Do you call yeah, it? Yeah, you not say. But let's say they do half. Then no, nah, screw it. I could do half an inch if I want at that point. Okay. That's okay. just how I would. I just think that yeah. I mean, what are they gonna do? Get a tape in? Yeah, around? like like, dude. What if you just dink that shit? It's the whole rail, or it's however long you choose. Interesting. In my opinion, if you know, if someone grinds ten feet, well, whatever. If I grind a foot, I still did it. <laughs> But if you just you okay, the whole thing that, and you call it, then I guess the other person. Would what if it's one of those things where it doesn't slide or grind, and it's just like a stall? I mean, you made it happen. It's defense. Yeah, you're right. It is defense. It's defense. Bigger margin. I'm, I'm interested. Right I'm interested. I'm interested. Well, now the rules will change, right? That is true. But okay. I would assume that defense doesn't have to be as clean as offense. That's like all that. I'm saying is that. How would they? How many people would be involved? Because holy shit, the, like the the options are like limitless with that. Yeah, we could say that the options are limitless with flat ground. Shane O'Neill might win. Shane's got to be in that. Shane, Shane, I hope to see you there. The thing is, is that Paluzzi has tricks that no one is even gonna fucking step to. 
<laughs> no. You know what so I mean? Good. Like the tricks that it's he so does on good. flat bar, like people just don't do in general. Uh, I think Louis Lopez should be in it. Oh, I'd be sick to see Louis Lopez. Lo- actually, man. I think Tanner Van Vark should be in it. Oh, that's, yeah, throw him in there for sure. You know, because you know what he did on the Barracks flat bar? He did a fakey blunt slide Jack. and like 540 out of it. Jack Dude. Olsen, Jack Olsen Jack. better be in there. Jack like, Olsen what? better be in there. Yeah. He's got those tricks. Holy shit, man. There's so many options for this. There's so many. Because it's not like it's not like Battle of the Barracks flat ground where it's like dudes are like burned out where you've seen them for 10 years on there. You know what I mean? Like yeah, with this, it's if like. If I were the Barracks, I'd fire this flat bar thing up. Let's get it. I agree. There's no way it's like. How is that a why bad not? idea? No, why not? Yeah. I agree. I think it would be sick. I hope, I hope they do it. I hope they I'd be excited it. to watch them too, just as a concept. It would be sick. Yeah. I mean, we as really they, always... like. With the as bear- long as they pick the right dudes, like there can't be yeah. any blowouts because then it's just like, well, what the fuck? What was he doing here? Yeah, I think it'll be tough. I I'm think, right. yeah, man. I'm looking forward to it if they do it. Like I said, remember when P. Rod did front feeble varial heel? Yes, I do. I also That's- remember when Tiago Lemos did front feeble laser foot. Oh yeah, not to not to take away from P. Rod, but that came right to my head. When he yeah, said but P. Rod did that shit like ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying right. that's a really fucked up trick. That's insane. Yeah, insane. Let's chat real quick. It's just a magnified. It's just one clip. But Tom K. Oh, that's your dude. Hippie jump. That's your dude. I mean, how could that not be your dude after you do a? Yeah, yeah. He also seems like the nicest dude. He seems like a real cool guy. Yeah, he does. He really does. He, he has that vibe. Also, whoever and he's him. been with New Balance since they were like a an experiment. Yes, I would agree. He's been there since the start. Uh-huh. Uh, so I, did you watch the Magnify? Did you see the clip I'm talking about? I didn't. Oh, uh, wow. Well, you're going to have to watch it. Uh, anyway, his his outfit is like shades of orange and red. And <laughs> someone commented, <laughs> he looks like a Crayola crayon. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. That's sick. But, dude, Mike, it's crazy. The photo's in the new Thrasher. Uh, the one okay. with Elijah on the cover. Baking yeah, tricks. I saw. Oh, look, look what we got right here. Look, 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 look. <laughs> this Thrasher. Thrasher sponsor. Baky grind down uh, La Jolla. La Jolla, Mike, your favorite. La That's Jolla where you're team. at right now, Grant. You're I don't live home. in La Jolla. How many times do you got to go over? Why? You live up <laughs> anyway, on the hills of La Jolla. Baky grind at 18, sir. That's a buck. But yeah, the Magnified is uh, in this mag. He, it's a pole jam that has a chain right above where the pole jam ends. So you literally. Ooh. You, he, like, shoots the board into the pole jam as he hippie jumps, and Le, it somehow worked out. LaJoy Look, you're still stuck on that? Wow, That's look at That's a sick it. shirt you have on, dude. Oh, thank you. I like the – I really like the oh, – you can't see it. The swirls on the sleeves, I like LaJoy that. That's yeah, cool. that's what I was referring to. Well, it's also got the, you know, little big head. Classics. Classics. Let's go. Classics. Yeah, so I mean, I just wanted to mention that because Tom K's that dude, and that was yeah, sick. he's tight. That was sick. And Mike and I already mentioned this last week, but the official announcement and the official welcome video was released for Don for Don Vanderland. I feel like we've talked about this five weeks in a row. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> we mentioned it. You know what was cool? We mentioned this last week. This this made me smile. We mentioned this on the show. I said that uh, the announcement was coming. He'd been seen in the Nike hoodie or jacket, the beanie, the shoes. You know, it was jacket coming. was sick. It was coming. But when I when I when I woke up the next morning and watched his welcome video on YouTube, I glanced through the comments and someone was like, "Oh, I heard them talk about this on that podcast, but I didn't think they were right." And I was like, "You know, that's pretty cool just to see that." Uh, that was right, man. Oh, no, I didn't care about that. I wasn't trying to – yeah, I was right. <laughs> I care about that. That's whatever. I just – it was just cool to see someone say that in the comments that they that they listen to Skate Flay and then they watch it turn into a reality. Yeah, so thank Skate you. Shout out to you for listening to this episode as well. Yo, Skate Flay is very, you know, informative. Yeah, we try to be. Uh, you know, speaking of informing, Mike, have you heard of this new bearing brand called Cortina? No. Well, here's Maybe Kyle Walker doing a fat frontside flip for it. Oh, Kyle rides for them? Yeah, they're super sick, dude. They have it. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> uh, I've seen he posted about it. Aramis posted about it. 
um, and a few other dudes. So that should be getting launched soon, which is pretty cool. You know, it's always I'm nice. I'm down to try them new, out, dude. Some new projects. Sure. For some, hey, I'm not even some like of our favorite dudes. Yeah, like not even trolling. Like I'm actually really down to try new bearing companies because, like, I think I've said this before. I don't want to. I'm tired of it always being the same shit. What yeah. bearings do you run uh, currently? I don't remember, dude. It's like yeah, a fucking happens. Frankenstein really of berries of bearings right now. Are you scared of Bronson's? No, but I really want to. I just don't want to pay for Bronson's and then not like them. Not like them as bearings. Well, I mean, I it understand that, but they're, that they're like sixty bucks, dude. Me not liking something that's like twenty bucks is way easier for me to deal yeah, with than yeah, liking yeah, something yeah, that was like yeah. sixty bucks. I mean, you can get the cheap ones, but then I feel like cheap bearings no, are all the same. Yeah, exactly. That, exactly. I, like, I, I got the Bronson Raws right now. I like those bearings. If those I'm gonna bearings. like get better something better, I might as well get something that's better. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, that's really all this list entails. Good shit. Dude. Do you have anything else you'd like to chat about before our, so. our weekly show ends? Hold on, let me double check. Oh, kind of. Yeah, sort of. Did you fucking <laughs> check, <laughs> dude? Did you see that Tony Hawk footage that I posted earlier? That was sick. Where did dude, you find that? Dude, what on his page, dude? He was ripping. What was his middle name? Someone commented about his middle name. Frank. Yeah, Tony Frank Hawk. Dude, Ooh, I was like, yeah. like obviously we know that he's fucking Tony Hawk and he's the best ever, you know. But like, shit, yeah. dude, he was like it, ripping. It's sick. It's, it's sick, Mike. I do like that you mentioned this. I was hyped on that, dude, man. Like, like he bonked over the uh over the spine. Whoa, full cab with the melon grab. That yeah, that's cool. what I was saying. Like that line is fucked up, dude. dude. It's pretty tight. He like does a little manual around the corner. Dude, no, I was just like, sick. I don't know why, but that was so sick. They have like they have these three mini ramps next to each other, so you can just transfer. <laughs> yeah, tough. I know, I know, and the setup is so rad, dude. I completely agree. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I saw that yeah. this morning early as fuck, and I was just like, "Oh my god, this is so sick." That is tight. I thought that there was another thing I wanted to talk about. I just can't remember. I don't know. I don't know either. I like this photo of Sean Maltzo winning the Olympics. He already won. It's 2018, but he already won. And he's holding a longboard, which is sick. Longboards are so sick. Uh, no, I think that's really it, dude. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you, Mike, for, I don't know, being on the show today. Oh, you're always. welcome, dude. Thank you for being on the show today, man. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> we will be back next week. <laughs> Oh, thank you to all the viewers. You know, we're at 140. That's a cool number to look at as I as I was going to end this. Oh, 140. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll be back next week with 141. And we'll chat about whatever goes down this week. Can, I start, using my, can I start using my fingerboard again? Yeah, hit us with the outro. You better land it. We probably won't even right, see yeah. it, but you better land a trick. Fat trick flip, dude. I actually don't fingerboard. I'm just like, this is a...